Yes, and it's your favorite developer, Property by Kazi, and we are back at another luxury development tour. This is our second time visiting this project in SW16. We were here when it was rough and ready, but we're ready to see it looking like a diamond. A commercial unit with uppers converted into three flats, retaining a commercial unit. Let's go. So before we go and see all of the lovely residential units, let's have a quick look around the commercial. So, you know what, last time we were here, this was nothing, and now it's a tidy shell ready for somebody to actually go and you know, create a new business. So last time we spoke, I think you said you were umming and ahhing between, are you gonna keep this, are you gonna sell this? Have you decided, or are you still just gonna flip a coin? I'm still gonna flip a coin, to be honest with you. Well, I guess it depends if somebody comes and offers you the right amount of money. Yeah, exactly. So, might as, well, might as well tell them, what are we looking for on, on the rental market? I mean, look, realistically, we're trying to sell the unit. We can achieve around 220 to 250,000, mm -hmm. probably in that bracket. We'll sell it. Um, obviously, the market's quite tight at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, if it doesn't go for that, then we're happy to retain it. Um, in which case, we would look to lease this from between fifteen to seventy thousand per annum. Okay. Well, you heard the numbers there, so you know how to re they know who to reach out to if you're looking for a unit on a high street in SW16. The main thing we need to see is you told us you were going to have upstairs done dusted by the time we come back. So should we go and find out? Let's go find out. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So it's looking very, very finished. I was expecting to come in and maybe see some naked plasterboard, but it's all looking done. So talk me through your design concept when you design this one bedroom flat. Yeah, so um, we've gone for something a little bit more upmarket. So we've gone for the recessed um, LED strip lighting in the ceiling. Uh, we've put some wall lights in here and then we've gone for the herringbone style floor. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just give it a modern kind of contemporary finish and feel. Over here, you've got the bedroom. Uh, so again, we've gone for the bigger window, slightly bigger floor to ceiling kind of style. Uh, herringbone floor throughout continues. All of this area, the whole ground floor flat is underfloor heated as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've created a nice little bookshelf recess over there, just above like where the master is. I like it, so sort of bed would be here. That's You've cool. got the high level sockets with the antenna the um, Cat5 cable as well for the internet, which is nice. It shows that, you know, the sort of the first fix has really been thought out yeah. to make sure the end user can enjoy it without having wires everywhere, which is always great. So then to, to the rear, you have the open plan kitchen living room, yes. um, which extended to the external courtyard. Really like this, you went obviously again for the feature media wall with the electric fireplace. You've already got all of the underfloor heating. Yeah. Um, you know, the big are these, what are these, a bifold? Bifold doors, yeah, nice. three paint bifold doors in here. And then you've got some nice, nice paving to the back here. So obviously you've got some outdoor space. And I think the fact that you went for brick rather than block really worked well um, and sort of obviously tied the rear additions and the new additions to the existing part of the building. That's it. Where'd you get your kitchen from? Uh, so these were sourced from Magnet. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got a supplier for the, for the quartz worktop, which we thought would complement. And we went for the splashback in quartz as well. No, it all looks nice. And obviously, like always, we always say it, but any, any opportunity to get that extra bit of natural lighting is always gonna be a bonus and you can really feel that standing in this kitchen. So now onto the bathroom. The use of the deep royal blues, the brush gold, you can see a consistent design theme throughout and you can see that this whole project has really been thought through. Now, on to the next flat. You've got flat B over here and you've got flat C behind me. Mm -hmm. We'll go in and take a look at flat B first. Cool. So, this is flat B. Nice. This is the main hallway and we'll go to the living area first. And so this one's a two bedroom flat. Now, yes. let me ask you, obviously, you know, in terms of, we spoke briefly about design. Yeah. Are you fully involved in the design process or do you outsource that? No, no, we design everything in-house. Um, and so how, because one thing a few developers have told me, particularly when starting out and property investors is, particularly in larger projects, when you, you know, you've kind of been in, in that first fixed stage for a long time and by the time you get to the point where you get to the fun stuff of getting to pick the second fixed materials, yeah. they've almost lost the passion for the project. How do you guys manage to retain that and still make sure you manage a good standard of finish? Well, look, as you know, we do this day in, day out. Mm -hmm. We do it for clients, we do it for ourselves. Um, I guess it's, a, it's something that we have a keen interest in. So something, when you've got a keen interest in something, you, you don't kind of get bored of it. Mm -hmm. So um, we put a different touch, a different spin on every different development that we do. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see that in the next one as well. It's, it's similar, but it's not. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we just kind of keep it, change it up a bit every now and then. So this one's a two bed. 
Yes. And I really like my favorite part of this two bed is actually the split level master bedroom at the rear of the property. So this is the master room. Mm -hmm. This one in particular benefits from having the ensuite bathroom to the rear. Um, as you can see, we've got nice two big windows in here. Nice double room. See, the good thing about these two bedroom, two bathroom flats, I think particularly if property prices soaring in the UK, mm. you know, it means that a lot of people unfortunately can no longer afford to buy in London by themselves on starting salary. So properties like this, where you've got two good sized bedrooms, mm. two, you know, two bathrooms as well, it means potentially whether it's siblings, whether it's friends, sharers could actually look to join forces and buy together because for a lot of people, they're looking at, you know, hacks on ways to get on the property ladder. And I think buying together is really one sort of combining that power. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I totally agree. But let me know in the comment section, what are you guys like? If you're out buying, renting, whatever the case may be, what would make you spend your money? Because we're trying to get some feedback to make sure that we can deliver the best products to market. Cool. Okay, flat B done. Last one, flat C. Let's go. Okay, so this is flat number C. Number C, yeah? Or letter one. <laughs> so obviously we spoke last time you were promising me a glass balustrade and we've got it in despite increasing glass prices increases labor prices you've still gone for a high standard of finish so this one is a one bed this is a one bedroom flat so we've got the bedroom in here nice so and then bedroom. this also comes with the we've got an ensuite oh, bathroom in here this is nice this is nice, this is nice, a nice double-ended bath. You know, you can actually relax. There's no taps, the tap's coming from the wall. Um, Four-piece suite with the wet room. This is really, really nice. Then got guest toilet. Got guest toilet in here, but nice skylight window in the top. Again, with an LED light feature in it. And then this brings us to the main master, sorry, not the master, the kitchen living area. So again, gold accents, the quartz worktops, royal blue kitchen finish. Um, you know, I think everything comes together really well and I'm proud to see that a developer has actually kept to his word and finished on time frames and it looks like that we owe you Nando's rather than the other way around. <laughs> Looking forward to it. So the main thing I want to know is, did you still hit that 1.5 million GDV or are you on target to? We're on target to hit it. We haven't hit it yet. Obviously we've only sold two units, mm -hmm. one, one yet to go and we've got the commercial as well. And then what about cost? I know material prices have been going up. You had a build cost that we spoke about last time. How do you fare with that build cost? So we have gone over the build cost mm -hmm. marginally, but we've made up for it in the sales or at least two of the ones that we have sold. Mm -hmm. um, the third one that we are going to be selling and also the commercial still in the bag. Um, I think we will get that target, so, if not exceed it. So that is half a million pounds profit over a 12 month period from Imperial Construction. Right. It's, not, it's not too shabby in a difficult market. So that is another development tour hosted by myself, Kaz from Property by Kazi. Today we're with Imperial Construction. If you've enjoyed this episode or want to see more stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've still got to go back over to Crepes and Cones because I'm trying to get my burger. I'm trying to get my fries because I know that one's not finished yet. So we'll be down there real soon. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our next episode.